I've seen overwhelmingly increasingly like a narrative like online anyway in the spheres that I shift from like what what was you know initially a Black Lives Matter thing mm -hmm. to now like a, a a white narrative surrounding how this is affecting this is affecting me in this many ways and I've just I've become so aware recently oh my fucking life yeah yeah it, it, it's not just me that's that's where it's gone now. yeah and I feel I feel frustrated that <laughs> within a matter of weeks it's all it's reversed back to like a white guilt thing finds its way in no matter what I, no i i've been finding that as well i've been finding it really draining actually being on social media and stuff because it's just a wall of white guilt I'm so, so sick of people saying stuff like, I, I recognise that I have white privilege. Or like, I recognise my privilege. You know, I need to hold myself accountable and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I don't give a shit. Acknowledging your white privilege is a personal, internal experience, and it doesn't need sharing. It's not something that you should have to project exactly. in order to, you know? I should know that you acknowledge your white privilege by how you act. Little Britain and I need to I need to I hold my hands up and I say that I used to laugh at Little Britain I don't care man <laughs> like I really Mine. don't and I don't know why you feel the need to share that still alive out there good still alive out there good this is <laughs> Warum haben die Deutschen so eine hartliche Sprache? Max, 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 Das Nünze. Nünze. Ich war ein. 
Ich war in einem deutschen Restaurant. Ja. What I want to know is, why aren't more people inventing useful things? Like Mr. Bobby, 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 Bobby Ashimura, who wins our Max Headroom Product of the Month Award for coming out with a little attachment you plug into your TV and it warns you that the commercial break is coming by automatically switching off your set for five seconds. And here to demonstrate it for us is Mr. Ashimura himself. Okay, Bob, take it away. Everyone wants to tell you about their personal experience, and it comes back to the fact that everyone's favourite topic is themselves. Yeah, exactly. not and it's what one of the girls at the um, march we went to was saying she kept on saying like this is not a trend right this better not be a trend yeah <laughs> this is my life <laughs> you for taking the time to message me but I have no interest in engaging with you like this. The fact that you want me to justify my intelligence and relevance in this conversation and then persuade you of this is frankly deeply insulting and something I will not stoop to. As for your apology I do not accept it. Are you seriously trying to tell me that you won't apologize for intending to cause me offense through a crudely racist joke but will apologize for just not insulting me better? Who the hell do you think I am? And no, I do not think that we handled ourselves with a similarly low level of integrity and decorum. I think you did. I am proud of how I expressed my knowledge and how I dealt with your outrageous attacks on my personhood in my own country. I owe you no apology. As for opening up a dialogue, you have very clearly demonstrated to me that you do not respect me as a person or the intelligence I have regarding this subject matter. And I am not going to waste my time and energy trying to convince you otherwise. And let me get this straight. This is not a matter of unwillingness to engage with someone with opposing views to me. It's something I do on a daily basis. This is a matter of not wanting to engage with you. You have proven yourself to be rude, uneducated and disrespectful and it's just not worth the stress. Mad respects. Bam. 